All right, guys, how we doing today? Um, I'm out thrifting again, trying to source some new things. Woke up with a headache, but had to come. Today is Wednesday, it's 9th, 10 to 10, and there's literally a line. I guess the store opens at 10, I thought it opened at 9. There's a line out front waiting to get in. So that's a hint for you. Another hint is it's Wednesday. Pause the video, put in the comments down below, where am I at? Let's check your thrift and knowledge. If you're experienced, you know. If you're new, you're gonna learn. Today's Wednesday and there's a line out front before they open. Where am I? Hoping to get a few things and we'll see how it goes. Fifty percent off Wednesdays, so they line up. So I'm gonna do it too. They call it Wacky Wednesday. It sure is. There's freaking people everywhere. There was a line of at least 40 people at the door waiting for it to open. And they're like animals in here. I can't even get down an aisle properly. All right, Salvation Army was a nightmare. First time I actually went there, because I have my four or five stores near my house that I usually go to. Um, took a ride up here, it's not far, five miles. But Wacky Wednesday, they call it. Out of control, animals, people throwing stuff on the floor hangers clothes shoes all over the floor can't even get down the aisles and they weren't thrifters they're just regular people buying clothes but they do 50% off everything in the store on Wednesdays at Salvation Army so you know if you find one check it out it was just too hectic for me and their prices were high their dress shirts were nine dollars so half off which is good four fifty but you got to sell it for twenty and I didn't really say anything great um, I hit it just hit it St. Vincent de Paul I don't know if they're all over the country. I know there's a couple in my area. I'm actually going to leave here and go to the next one. They have 50% off. I didn't know. It's right around the corner from Salvation Army. Um, not much in clothes, but I also like to buy and sell older electronics. That's a good thing to do. VCRs, turntables, cassette decks, and I scored a nice one. Let me show you. I got a JVC cassette deck. Nice condition, few scratches on top, no big deal. But the front is really nice. Tested it and it works. Seven dollars. I looked them up, they could sell 40, 50 dollar range. You know, maybe more. Um, I'll have to do a better investigation, but they were definitely, on a quick look, they were up there. So that's a good score. I'm gonna head to another St. Vincent de Paul that's a lot bigger. It's like multiple levels. And hopefully we'll get some stuff there and I'll show you. All right, I just stopped home to refuel because Salvation Army and at one St. Vincent were about five, six miles north of me. And now my plan was to go to the Salvation Army that is five miles south of me, downtown Fort Lauderdale. But um, after seeing what Saint Salvation Army is like on their 50% Wednesdays, and the area that that store is in, I am not dealing with that. So I'm just gonna skip that. I'm gonna hit the St. Vincent de Paul, not too far from here. Um, let's see, I've never been to that one. So I'm adding new stores to my, you know, trying to see into my rotation. But what's good about that last one that I bought that cassette player at, uh, you know, I asked the guy, cause it was in a corner that I couldn't get to with furniture. And it was like on a shelf, I couldn't even, and I asked him, I said, do you have any old, you know, old VCRs, any kind of like, you know, music electronics, turntables? And he looked and he pulled out the cassette player. So I took it and I, you know, he said, what else you want? I said, well, I collect it. You know, don't tell people you're reselling. I just said, I collect old electronics. So he said, give me your number over at the front desk. And if we get any VCRs or anything in, and they're good sellers, because even though they don't make them anymore, you know, People still buy the old electronics to use them, to collect them, to save them, whatever. And if it doesn't sell, I don't really care because I'll throw it in the closet and 
you know, I'll pass it down to my kids and when they're my age, it'll be cool to have the old electronics that was being stopped made, you know, 40 years ago. So, he took my number and now I got a connection. He's gonna call me, say, hey, we got a VCR in. But here's the brand model number. I'll look up if it's worth it. I take the ride and get it. So let's go to the other one. All right, hopefully let's cross our fingers and find some good scores. Good selection electronics. See what I see, VCRs. All right, we're going upstairs to check out the clothes. I scored a VCR and an old handheld radio. Good profit. All right, back home. Um, didn't do any clothes today. Even with the store having 50% off, just didn't see anything I liked. But I did score three good, um, because you could say vintage electronics. They're hot, they sell. Let me show you what I got. All right, first, I got this JVC cassette deck. Some scratches on top, but the front, I showed this to you earlier. Mint condition. Tested it out, it works. Tested at the store before I left. I looked it up online. They were selling for about $45. I paid $7. So, you know, I'll list it for about $47. $45 to $50 they sell for. So I'll probably clear $40 bucks on that, let's say. I picked up another VCR, a Sony, as you can see, $5. That store didn't have any sales, so I paid $5 for it. This one I just looked up, they go between 40 and 60. So let's say I'm listed for 45, 50. I'll make it 50 bucks, 49.95. Maybe I'll make 45 hours. And then this is really cool, a realistic AM FM direct entry communication receiver. So it's some sort of odd radio. It's not, it's a little different than just a standard radio. But they wanted $10 for it, but it only has a battery compartment. It did not have the AC adapter plug. So I, at the register, I was like, there's no way I'm paying 10 for it. I don't even know if it works. You gotta do better. So they gave it to me for five because it had no sticker on it. And I looked those up and they're selling 70 to $80 range. Now electronics isn't something I've always done. I've always done just clothing, you know, shoes, few you know household knickknacks but clothing has been my main thing and um you know by watching youtube there's a guy that has a channel he's called craigslist hunter pete seems like a real cool dude he has a store and uh, he really turned me on by watching his videos to all the electronics he buys and sells them he says they're great sellers and now when i'm in the stores that i never even noticed before he got all these vcrs for five hours that sell you know 35 40 50 60 bucks whatever it's a no-brainer. So, Pete Craigslist Hunter, thank you, sir. I'm finding good ones. All right, that's it for this video. Um, just wanted to show you how I did. Vintage Electronics Day. Good scores, good profit. If you can make $30, $40 on an item, you know, you're winning all day long. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, share, subscribe. And um, check out my other videos, and I'll see you later.